Julian Allen, Executive Director of Women for Action, Managing Editor of Women for Action Magazine. This is a book response on Bad Feminists by Roxane Gay. Bad Feminists is a collection of essays and honest dialogue about who Roxane Gay is as a feminist woman, owning her own truth and what she believes in. She at first paints a story of a woman who's much like other women pertaining to personal experiences. Her story of trauma, personal development, learning what makes her tick as she become stronger and more confident. This is possibly what led to the bold creation of Bad Feminist. It's not easy for the author to admit that she's a bad feminist. She tried to live up to this ideal standard of what it means to be a good feminist. Possibly the type that is highly independent, don't need a man for anything, is able to repair things when it breaks down or needs to get fixed, doesn't wear makeup, doesn't try to look good for the opposite sex, doesn't like sex at all or too much sex. She's proud to say that she's a feminist, but she doesn't fit into this ideal mold. In spite of her flaws, she feels that as a journalist, leader, or creator, when we're called to do our jobs, there's a certain level of dignity and respect or even social responsibility that we must adhere to. Failing to do so only exasperates our social problems. She speaks about authors who do not do the proper research and publish irresponsible information or information that's untrue. Filmmakers who have the ability to tell a comprehensive story, but they exploit their subjects. Media outlets who omit certain reporting and leave it up to social media to do the reporting, reporting when media outlets more than likely will have the resources to do a full report on a story. She also points to ill-informed politicians who exploit feminist issues for their political campaigns and how this conversation comes up for almost every political campaign. I think if, if you believe in the social, economic, and political equality of all people, but are challenged by what it means to be a good feminist person, you should read this book. I think we can all be feminists, even if our individual feminism doesn't look like everyone else. Thank you for watching.